We're going to start our five minute warm up with some light bouncing on the spot. So find a small space and just working on the balls of the feet, keeping the body nice and relaxed, just a low bounce. We're going to work here for about 20 seconds, just starting to get some blood flow, gradually increasing the core temperature before we go into our first mobility exercise. So our first mobility exercise working through the calves. You're gonna go into a press up position, fix the toes in place, arms extended, legs extended, and just flexing the knees in toward the chest, really getting that full range of motion through the calves, through the ankles. Gonna work through here for another 20 seconds. After this, we're gonna get back to our feet and we're gonna go into 10 basic lunges. So a light ghosting action, 10 reps, but just slow and steady to start. So stepping in, lunging through, simulating your shot, complete 10 repetitions. After you ghosting, you're gonna go back to just another light bounce on the spot, just a little bit higher than we were before, kind of imagining almost a, a light skipping action here. If you've got a skipping rope, you can use it here. If not, just simulating that little bounce on the spot as you would with a standard skipping action. 20 seconds here, you're then gonna go into your next mobility exercise, our flex and extend. So place a small towel under the knee and you're just gonna lunge through into kind of a, a hip flexor stretch position, holding it just very, very briefly for half a second and then dipping back to extend through the hamstring. So we're flexing through the hip flexors at the top of the movement and then relaxing back and moving through the length of the hamstring at the back of the movement. So you're gonna work through around about 15, 20 seconds on each side of the body, just gradually taking the range of motion a little bit further with each repetition. Control the core, don't let the back hunch over, nice strong posture. From there, back to your feet, going again into our 10 ghosts. So slightly faster this time, same as before, just getting that lunge out, simulating your shot at a slightly faster pace than you did in your first set. Upon completion of your 10 reps, you're going back into a bounce, but a little bit higher now. So still simulating that skipping action, but bouncing at a faster pace. So very light on the balls of the feet, increasing the speed of the movement, bouncing at a faster pace than you did in the first two sets. Same here again for the third set, 20 seconds, when they're gonna go into a mobility exercise, this time for our hamstrings. Here we're taking a deep breath, circling up through the arms, through the shoulders, and as we breathe out, sweeping the arms down. So the legs stay nice and straight. Each rep, big circle, round, coming down deep, filling that extension through the backs of the legs, getting nice, slow, deep breaths through the motion. Again, from there, back into your ghosting action, 10 reps, faster pace again. So we're getting up to almost a, a match speed with our ghost here. Short little bounce in between, stepping in, simulating the shot, 10 repetitions. Once you've completed your 10 reps, last 20 seconds now with our bounce on the spot, almost a, a run on the spot here, now getting the arms involved, kind of a, a sprint, almost a, a sort of a half high knee action, just working through at a faster pace for the 20 seconds. From here, we're going into our next mobility exercise, gonna be our lateral lunges. So set the legs wide apart, and you're just gonna rock side to side, leaning across into that kind of a duck to groin stretch, just holding for a brief second, and then switching across to the other side, getting a nice rhythm, working for around 20 seconds. Once your 20 seconds is complete, back into your ghost again, and this time as fast as you can. So match pace, 10 reps, really simulate how you wanna be moving in that first rally. Short, sharp steps, fast movements, 10 repetitions. That'll bring you through to the end of the structured warm up. So, here, just for the next 40, 50 seconds, just to finish off here, going through some light stretches of the body parts that you feel are those that you need to pay closer attention to. In the video here, I'm just going through some light quad stretches, just bringing up pulling up through the laces, just working through the front of the thigh, then into some light hamstring stretches. But you'll notice I'm moving the whole time while I'm doing this. So again, picking out the, the stretches, the movements that you feel most important to you, but trying to make sure you're moving and not just going into a static stretch. You're moving throughout, keeping the warm up as dynamic as possible. 
And here again, I like to just finish with some squat repetitions, getting that deep squat, sitting down into that hip mobility action.